Now, it's not the second coming, but a Canadian filmmaker and amateur archaeologist says he's discovered a first-century Christian burial site which he claims could hold the remains of Jesus' disciples. Using cameras installed on robotic arms, Simcha Jakubovici photographed a burial chamber which lies underneath a Jerusalem apartment block. The limestone burial caskets carry Christian inscriptions, including what could be a portrayal of Jonah and the whale. This latest discovery is just 200 feet from a site which Mr Jakubovici controversially declared to be the tomb of Jesus himself only five years ago. Well, earlier I spoke to the journalist Matthew Kalman in Jerusalem, a long-time observer of the saga. I put it to him, this was a pretty bold claim. Uh, yes, it is. And it's not the first time we've heard that from uh, these particular people. The filmmaker Simcha Yakubovich and uh, James Tabor of the University of North Carolina uh, told us in 2007 that a tomb that had actually been excavated 25 or 30 years ago uh, contained a series of burial boxes inscribed with names like Mary and Joseph and even Jesus, the son of Joseph. Uh, and they dubbed this the Jesus family tomb. What they've now done is that they've explored another tomb just 200 feet away. They weren't able to get inside this one, but using robotic cameras and probes, they were able to look inside it. And they say that it contains uh, ossuaries or burial boxes with early Christian iconography uh, that show that these may be the tombs of the disciples. Well, uh, one doesn't want to be um, irreverent or disrespectful, but it does feel like a scene out of the life of Brian. Uh, yes, and oh, there have also been uh, comparisons made to Indiana Jones, of course, as there always are when discoveries of this kind uh, have been made. Uh, but the filmmakers here uh, are quite adamant that they have unearthed the earliest ever uh, depictions of Christian iconography uh, inside a tomb dating back to the first century, whereas before, the kind of pictures that they found, which are pictures of fish and what appears to be a Jonah coming out of a fish, uh, until now were not known until the third or fourth century well i mean if i were a filmmaker i think well i'd have a tomb yes and then great uh, a few years later let's find an anteroom, and even better let's find the, all the names we know of that ever had anything to do with jesus christ and hey presto there they all are in one happy family tomb it's jolly hard to believe uh, it is hard to believe, and uh, already since this was unveiled yesterday, uh, they've already come under attack from other scholars and other experts. Uh, these are the same people who a year ago told us they'd found the nails of the crucifixion. Uh, and uh, this latest find is being uh, treated with immense scepticism by the scholarly archaeological community. Well, come on, comfort me. Find me somebody who uh, is of great credibility who says, yes, indeed, this is the crown jewels of Christianity. Uh, I'm afraid I can't comfort you like that. James Tabor is a respected scholar of biblical studies, but so far the archaeological scholarly world are lining up against the discovery that was announced yesterday.